What's up guys, Shane Starnes here and I've had a couple of days to play around with the Galaxy Fold and overall I'm really enjoying my experience with this all new fresh design of a tablet with a phone. With a Snapdragon 855 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of UFS 3.0 storage, this phone is a powerhouse. But how does it compare to the iPhone XS Max? The iPhone XS Max is one of the fastest phones on the market with an A12 Bionic chip and four gigabytes of RAM. We're gonna test these side by side and see which one is the fastest phone. Let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Infinity Cloud. Infinity Cloud is the super simple way to keep your computer's data safe. In the US alone, 140,000 hard drives crash each and every week. About 60% of hard drive failures occur due to a mechanical failure, while the other 40% are a result of misuse. Simple drive recovery can cost upwards of $7,500 and success is not guaranteed. You can see how important it is to keep your files backed up. With Infinity Cloud, you'll be able to back up all your photos, videos, music, and documents with a single click. There are no cables or complicated software to install or cloud subscription required. Literally plug your Infinity Cloud into your computer's USB port, Find and open Infinity Cloud in your file explorer and click the start button to automatically locate and back up the selected file types. Infinity Cloud is so easy, there's no reason you shouldn't be using it. I'll be sure to include a link in the description where you can grab your Infinity Cloud today. All right, so I'll do all of my tests with the Galaxy Fold opened up. So the screen here is a little bit bigger. There's a, more pixels to push here than on the iPhone XS Max. All right, so first things first, we'll go ahead and clear out all of our recents here. And I'll go ahead and turn both phones off. All right, so we'll start out by powering both phones up, see which one powers up fastest. And I hit the power button at the same time there. The Galaxy Fold looks like it got a little bit of a head start, but it didn't. I pressed the buttons at the same time. And it looks like the Samsung Galaxy Fold is going to be booted up first. Just kind of wait on the iPhone XS Max and it is not far behind. All right, so we'll just make sure here that all of our recent apps are closed. We don't have anything open and running in the background. So this will be a fair test. We'll start out with a couple of stock apps. We'll start out with the dialer. And it looks like the iPhone was slightly ahead of the Galaxy Fold, but they were both incredibly fast. One animation may have been a little bit quicker than the other. We'll go next to the settings. There again, slightly faster with the iPhone than the Galaxy Fold, but they were just about virtually neck and neck. Uh, next up, we're gonna go with Netflix. And the Galaxy Fold is open, but it requires one more click. And the iPhone was already loaded uh, in the proper account and ready to stream. The Galaxy Fold actually had the app up and running first. We just had to click to log in. So on that one, the Galaxy Fold seemed to beat the iPhone. All right, next up, we'll start to load some of our games. These are more graphical intensive applications. And so they're going to tax the system a little bit more. So we'll start out with Asphalt 8. And the iPhone gets the early lead. And it actually opens up the app quicker than the Galaxy Fold. All right, let's go ahead and launch a race. And it looks like the Galaxy Fold was able to launch that race just a little bit faster than the iPhone XS Max. All right, so we'll go back to the home screen and just kind of leave these running in the background. Next up, we're gonna to try to load PUBG. All right, once again, the iPhone starts out just a little bit faster than the Galaxy Fold. And this is a much larger game, so it's gonna take a little more time. And it looks like it looks like the iPhone is able to load PUBG a little bit quicker than the Galaxy Fold. You can see that both are extremely fast. Uh, so we will go ahead and let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and start the match. And once again, these are neck and neck. All right, so the Galaxy Fold was able to actually load the match a little bit faster than the iPhone XS Max. I'm just kind of leave these open and we'll be able to come back to these later. 
right next up is smash hit let's go ahead and get that loaded and this is a lighter game looks like the galaxy fold was able to load that a little bit quicker than the iphone 10s max uh, once again this is just a very light game not very graphical not very uh, taxing on the system uh, we'll go ahead and resume the game and then we'll just kind of leave that open and running in the background on both phones all right so now we're moving on to social media these are the apps that you're probably going to use the most during the day your twitter your facebook your instagram all right so we'll start off with facebook and those were both pretty even it looked like initially the galaxy fold had the app up faster but it was ready to use and fully loaded on the iPhone XS Max, maybe a fraction of a second faster. We'll go ahead and scroll through these and see which one seems to scroll faster. Um, the Galaxy Fold started out scrolling faster, but then it looks like the XS Max was able to load up, and now they're both super fast. So these seem to be running neck and neck. All right, now we'll go into our Twitter accounts. See which one is able to load that faster. Galaxy Fold, no match, was able to load Twitter much faster than the iPhone XS Max. We'll scroll through and see which one. Galaxy Fold starts out scrolling faster, but the iPhone XS Max is able to catch up. All right, so next up we're going to open up Instagram, and those loaded up just about equally as fast on both phones. We'll scroll through Galaxy Fold, scrolling much faster than the iPhone XS Max. Yeah. Uh, Instagram is a whole lot faster on the Galaxy Fold than it is on the XS Max. All right, so next up we're gonna load Photoshop and make an image edit. And Photoshop ready to go on the Galaxy Fold. It took a little bit more time on the iPhone XS Max We'll open up the same photo on both phones. Load it up faster on the Galaxy Fold. Uh, we'll make a change to these images. All right, so we'll just go with Vibrant and we'll make our adjustments here. And then we will go ahead and see about exporting these. All right, so now that our changes are made here, we're going to go ahead and export the image. And it looked like the export was much quicker on the Galaxy Fold than on the iPhone XS Max. All right, so next up, we will go into our App Store and our Play Store. The Play Store loaded much faster than the App Store. And we'll open up YouTube. YouTube is open and ready to go while the XS Max is still trying to load. And the XS Max finally loads YouTube. All right, so next up, we're gonna open up the browser and we'll try to load up some different websites here. So we'll go to ESPN on both. ESPN is a very multimedia heavy website. So if it's able to load that website fast, it should be able to load all websites pretty quickly. And the Galaxy Fold was able to load ESPN faster than the XS Max. Uh, we'll try a different website here. Let's go to The Verge. All right, so we'll go to The Verge. And once again, the Galaxy Fold was able to load The Verge a little bit faster, although it did look like they both kind of loaded the page at the same time. So The Verge looked like it loaded faster on the Galaxy Fold, but they both had the site fully loaded at about the same time. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a look at RAM management and see what the phones were able to keep open in the background. So we'll go back to where we started with the dialer. All right, so we'll load the phone application here. And those both were able to keep the phone open in the background. Now we'll go back and look at the settings application here. They were both able to keep that open in the background. I really don't imagine that the Galaxy Fold will have to reload anything from scratch considering that it has 12 gigabytes of RAM. Next up, we'll load Netflix. They were both ready to go. Should get a little interesting here. We'll see if they're able to keep the video games open, starting with Asphalt 8. 
All right, so they were both able to keep them open here. They both had the games paused. All right, so the Galaxy Fold was ready to go a whole lot quicker than the iPhone XS Max. You saw that the iPhone XS Max on that game was a little unresponsive when I was trying to click OK to move forward. The Galaxy Fold was able to just quickly reload and was ready to go. All right, so we'll move along. Okay, so next up we've got Smash Hit. And no surprise there, iPhone XS Max is ready to go. Galaxy Fold is ready to go. We'll go with Instagram. Able to stay open on both. Didn't have to reload on either of those. Uh, next up, we'll go to YouTube and see what we were able to keep open on YouTube. And both were ready to go. So, so far, no hiccups on RAM management. All right, so let's go to the Photoshop app. All right, so we're just where we left off on both of those. All right, next up we will load, uh, let's go with Facebook next. And those both had to do slight reloading. The Galaxy Fold was a little bit faster than the iPhone XS Max, but they were both very quick to load those back up. And we'll go with Twitter last. And those were both ready to go. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up. As you can see, the Galaxy Fold and the iPhone XS Max are both very fast devices. The iPhone XS Max seemed to have a little bit of an edge overall. The Galaxy Fold was a little bit stronger in some areas, but in my opinion, it looked like the iPhone XS Max was able to outshine the Galaxy Fold. That could be because we're pushing extra pixels on a larger screen. Uh, I'm not really sure why some of the apps took a little bit longer to load on the Galaxy Fold. For the most part, these two were both almost identical in load times. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to click the thumbs up button. Also be sure that you're subscribed to this channel for much more Galaxy Fold coverage and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new Galaxy Fold videos as they are uploaded. That about wraps it up for this one. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.